Hello everyone, this is Underscore you with Random Respawn, and today I am going to be dealing with your Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Stamina. Um, this is a farming video for the Staminoka Bass. Now, as you can see on my screen, three Staminoka Bass create an energizing fish skewer. That refills three full wheels of your stamina. So, if you, uh, if you do the math here, and I know it's pretty complicated, one Staminoka Bass refills an entire stamina wheel. So this by far is one of the best stamina recovery items I've found, probably grade A. And the best part of this is that it is plentiful. It is easy to farm, it is easy to find, and it's easy to have a ton of these on hand at all times. So I don't even bother with other stamina recovery items. I just Spend five or ten minutes farming these little bad boys, cook them up, and I am good to go for a while. As you can see, I can have I probably have two rows of at least a single wheel of stamina recovery. Um, and then if we go to my items, I got 41 of these bad boys just in, in my back pocket ready to go. Um, now, I, I haven't spent a long time farming these. It's if I run low or uh, when I was first figuring out where to find these, I... I got up to a pretty high number and I haven't really had to farm since. So without further ado, I'm going to tell you where to find these. Uh, so we're going to start as always at the Great Plateau Tower in case you haven't finished your entire map. Uh, so we're going to start here. We'll zoom in a little bit. Uh, what you want to do is go east until you hit this river and then you go north until you get to the Riverside Stable. So we'll zoom in, give you some more context as to where we are. And then we'll do the final zoom to give you exactly where the Riverside Stable is. Now, there is no fast travel to the Riverside Stable. So what you want to do is go directly north, um, maybe 50, 100 yards or whatever, uh, to this shrine right here. You can fast travel here, and it's right next to where we want to be. So I've taken the liberty of fast traveling there already. And what we're going to do is we're going to go out and do some fishing. Um, so quickly before we do that, this river, the Hylia River, it basically goes from up here all the way down here and then you can follow it into this big lake if you want to or I find it's best to take this left at the fork and follow this river what we're gonna do is just follow the river up and down the edges and see if we can find these bass um, now what we're looking for is this this red um, this main red body with the teal accents it's pretty to spot pretty easy to spot. It's more distinct than most of the fish. Um, so that's what we're going to look for in the water. And if you happen to have the um, upgraded Shika sensor for your Shika slates, as well as the camera rune, what you can do is you can go to your compendium, you can go to the creature section and slot 50. If you've already taken a picture, uh, this is where the Staminoka bass resides. You just press A on there if you're on the uh, switch. And then You'll see in the bottom right, it says target with sensor. We press A again, target with sensor. Now my sensor is going to ping anytime a, I'm heading in the direction of a Staminoka bass. So usually, and this is why I like to start off here at the stable, you can get one or two in these shallow ponds. So we're just going to go around and see if I can give you, give you guys an example of what they look like. Uh, is that one right there? I think that's one right there. So let's see if I can get over this. Boom. Shot one. You can see the red color and the teal accent. Boom, there's one. There's a full wheel of recovery already. Uh, so a couple ways to fish. You can use your bow like I just did. You can use bombs to just throw at a school of fish. I hope there are. Let's find some and I'll show you the redneck way of farming fish. Um, all right, let's head this way. You can take this raft out too if you have a leaf and, and feel like deep sea fishing uh, but staying on the riverbank really isn't that bad of a way to farm these bad bo bad boys um, it's raining now that's unfortunate harder to see um, but we're just gonna go up and down this river let's go to the other riverbank um, I usually have better luck on that side you do run into some enemies some octa rocks and things like that but no big deal so this river has a pretty fast current and that's pretty normal for it which is great because the fish tend to swim upstream and make them a stationary target. Uh, so, of course, the time that I'm shooting a video, I don't find schools of fish, but these usually travel in groups of two to three, and you can get them in one foul swoop and basically just be on your way. So, in 10 minutes, you should have enough to have 
probably two full, full rows or, or 20 or so stamina recovery. And yes, awesome. This is really proving your point there, Corey. Um, all right, there we go. There's something nearby. Okay, so another tip for fishing is if you use your little ice elevator here, you can get yourself, oh wow, oh wow, Corey, you're doing great. You're really showing these guys what you're made of. All right, so there's some fish over there. You can use these ice pillars and your bombs to fish from above. So we're just gonna throw that there. Boom, there's some fish. Let's hope that, oh, no, I think these are armored carp. Yep, they are. So this isn't what we're looking for, but that gives you an idea of how to, to farm or to fish with your bombs, the redneck style. So there's one. Um, another way with the fast moving tide is that they're gonna be stationary. You can catch up to them most of the time if I'm swimming in the right direction and you can just palm them pick them up or they even go ground which is pretty hilarious um so there's one that's not one we're looking for again we're looking for the red main color and teal accent um so we are pretty far into this video now you got the basic idea of how how this works what you're looking for the the idea of how awesome these guys are now I'm not having so much luck today. It's probably because I've been shooting this video uh, for a little while and already picked up a bunch of pockets of these. But you can usually get, I would say, if you do this whole river, go up and down it, spend maybe 10 minutes. Just if you find a school, you you take them out. Oh, oh, oh. Last ditch. And you can get 20 plus in a single run. So 10 minutes. 20 fish that's 20 full wheels of stamina recovery that's that is a good haul right there so we got some right here again they're they're traveling in schools is that a freaking armored carp yeah it is well if you're looking for armored carp this might be one of those videos too who knows um okay well that's sort of all i have guys here i know i failed to show you the the plentifulness of them but I, I promise if if you take this route you do it on yours you take my advice you're gonna be rich in recovery items oh, i seriously shot his hat off okay who are you just murdering fish and not picking them up really living by the the hunter's code of eat what you kill so here's another two um, and we haven't been going at it long and you can see we got, I don't know, maybe six, six or so pretty quick. Um, so yeah, you just keep going, follow these rivers, avoid enemies. If you want to just, just go up and down this river, you'll find big schools of two or three of these. And in 10 minutes, you're going to have all of the stamina recovery you need. All right. That's all I got guys. Again, I have been underscore you with random respawn. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want. Doesn't matter to me. I'm just trying to get the information out there to the Zelda community and, and help you guys out whenever you uh, are in a pinch and need some more stamina. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Bye.